Today we explore the trains operating the Lisbon commuter network. There are four different train classes and two different operators. Whether you're a railway enthusiast, a tourist looking to anticipate the trains you'll be riding on, or just someone curious about trains, this video is for you. Hey there and welcome! Today's video is all about trains, specifically the ones that carried over 155 million passengers in 2023, Lisbon's commuters, essential for transportation in the metro area. Cascade lines were featured in a recent video so today we will delve into all others without which the city couldn't function. Let's dive into learning more about them, beginning with classes 2300 and 2400. These commuter trains were introduced into service between 1992 and 1994, class 2300, and in 1997, class 2400. Built by Sorfame and Siemens under a project by Siemens, both classes share many similarities and operate services mainly from Lisbon to Sintra and Alverca, although they can be found as far as Azambuya. With a total of 56 units, 42 class 2300 and 14 class 2400, they have a maximum speed of 120 km per hour and can carry up to 900 passengers per 4 train unit or double that when operating in 8 car consists. These stainless steel units with fiberglass fronts were the first in Portugal to have electronic traction control, thus reduced consumption, smoother rides and higher reliability when compared with class 2000 that they replaced. Their entry into service represented a giant leap both technological and in passenger comfort and were very well received by the public. The interiors were designed to be spacious and bright thanks to the open layout and large windows. The seating arrangement is 2 plus 2 throughout with the exception of the areas near the doors between cars where there are rows of 3 or 5 longitudinal seats to accommodate a smooth passenger flow between the cars. In terms of accessibility, the trains are fitted with wheelchair ramps that can be operated by the conductor as required. Cyclists are also welcome for their bicycles can also be transported in this multifunctional open area. The nearest doors are signaled with the appropriate pictograms. Class 3500 is the second featured in this video. Similar to the Spanish class 450, these trains were manufactured by CAF in Spain under a project from Alstom. The first 12 units with white and blue livery are operated by Fertigas from Roma Araero to Setubal on the south bank of the Tagus, passing over the Tagus Bridge with stunning views, which we will admire at the end of the video. The remaining 18 in red livery are operated by CP from Alcantara Terra to Castanjera to Ribateo and from Santa Apollonia to Azambuya. These units entered service in 1998 and can reach 140 km per hour. Made of steel, they were the first double-decker electric multiple units in Portugal and remain the only ones to date. However, due to having only two doors per car, which lengthen passenger service at stops, they aren't the most suitable for high-density services despite their ability to carry more passengers than single-deck trains. The interiors can be described as somewhat cozy due to their low height but nonetheless, easy to navigate and aesthetically pleasing in both CP and Fertigus liveries. Besides the color schemes, the fleets slightly differ as Fertigus trains have these handrails, a modification implemented in 2019 to address passenger growth and alleviate overcrowding. Space for bicycles and wheelchairs is also included. In total, trains of class 3500 can accommodate up to 1250 passengers, although this can be further increased with the addition of another trailer for which they are prepared. Class 2240 has a history dating back to classes 2100, 2150 and 2200 built in the 1970s and early 1980s. In 2004 and 2005, they underwent a modernization process which included new engines, traction controls, interiors, motor boogies and doors. There were originally 57 of these trains, although only 53 remain currently in operation, primarily running regional routes throughout the entire electrified network but also serving Lisbon's commuters between Barrero and Preas to Sado of Via Setubal. While they may not offer the highest level of comfort and their rolling quality is not as good as the previously featured classes, they are still suitable for the commuter runs they serve. 
Their interior layout isn't particularly popular with passengers due to the 3 plus 2 seating arrangement and general lack of interior room, which creates congestion and limits spaciousness. Additionally, each three-car unit only has five doors, causing delays in passenger service. As a result, these units are not well suited for commuter services, except for routes with lower demand such as this service between Barrero and Preus Sado A. Like all other previously seen trains, they are also equipped with ramps for wheelchairs operated by the conductor when needed and an open area where both wheelchairs and bicycles can travel. With the marvelous views from a Fertigus class 3500 passing over the Tagus we reached the last part of this video. It is admired by passengers in their daily commute to and from the south bank of the river. What a view! Thank you for tuning in and staying until the end. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. It will be much valued and appreciated. Thank you for watching and until the next time.